So what, what, what you're asking for when you ask for tools is not something really that tools are going to give you. Mm. It's something that information will give you. Mm. Then that will start a process by which you will develop the tools if you even need to. And the information Here's, here's a piece of the information. So, so what you do, um, you have this brain that can make predictions um, about what's gonna help and what's gonna harm and causes and consequences and so forth. And you know, if we convert to regenerative agriculture, it'll sequester this much carbon, et cetera, et cetera, right? And here's my grand plan to save the world, right? That whole thing that eventually, that, that it can become a tyrant that cuts you off, as you were saying in the relationship example, you know, it can cut you off from your heart and from yourself. Yet this function of the brain is important. So the way it's supposed to work is that you, with your intellect, you take in all of the causes and consequences. You take them in, they settle down into the heart where they're digested or actually maybe even down into the gut and they're digested. And then they become instinct and mm. you act from that. You act from the, the digestion of all of this information, trusting that your choice, that the choice that your heart makes incorporates all of that information. Your mind might not be able to justify why the heart, knowing all of this, still chose to make paintings. But you trust that because making choices is not what the mind is good at. The mind does not really know what to do except to do these cost benefit analyses and, and these rational, I mean, you can't live life like that. Like what, what would happen if you, if you tried to live your love life according to some kind of cost benefit analysis? I mean, I would say that I was definitely taught to do that. <laughs> yeah, we're taught to do that. Yes. <laughs> because we, we're in this money world, you know, where that's how you do make decisions, supposedly, in business, at least in economic theory, that's how. Uh, and, and in a scientific worldview that says only quantity is real, but that's a whole. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's the way that, that's the way it should work is, is it's it's a a trusting of yourself to make wiser and wiser decisions as your field of information grows. Mm -hmm. And that trust sometimes is challenged when the decision doesn't look like it's helping anything. Like what if, what if, you know, your heart says time to go on a Vipassana retreat for 10 days and your mind's like, but there's so much to do right now. And this is a crucial moment. I can't do that now. And or what, what, but, but you know, you know, it is time. Or, but it could be the opposite. It could be that your mind says, well, you have to go to a Vipassana retreat because you, know, you, you, you need to rest and you need to, but maybe it's not time. Like mm. you, the mind can't know that. But the mind is important to feed the information to the fermenting vessel mm. of the heart. And, and it's actually, well, anyway, there's, there's more to it, but that's the, um, that's the information that might become a practice. Mm. 